Hi guys, my name is Om Sagasol. Today I want to talk about linear layout in Android. So let's go to Android Studio and you choose your new project and it should look like this. So before we go to linear layout, I want to talk a little bit about relative layout. So relative layout is kind of easy to drag a widget and place it to anywhere you want. Okay. But you can see when you delete an object in there, it will change a position of another uh, object because it is related. That is the name, relative. Okay. So you drag to another one and something like this. And you expect it to work. And suddenly you want to uh, delete the one. Oh, this is the new one, it's okay, but let's say I put this, so it depends on this one. So if I drag a little bit, okay, okay so it depends on this too. So let's say I delete this. As you can see, it changed. So I don't recommend you to use the relative layout because it's kind of messy when you work with a big project and if you really want to work with that, you have to have kind of like layout beforehand, draw it on a on a paper, and which button go where and which uh, we get go to where. But for now, I want to change to so let me delete them all. I want to change to uh, linear layout. So you go to to linear layout and, and choose the linear layout vertical and pass it in here and make sure you drag to the whole screen and you should check that layout width and high match parent okay now you are good to go to use linear layout so linear layout vertical is like it's like similar to the uh, in HTML it's like one one button to another, one button to another. But uh, two options is vertical and horizontal. So let's say you want to make something like a login. So uh, let me choose uh, this is a text, and then you can drag another one, and then let's say you choose email, and then a password. Okay, and then a button. Okay, so now you want to change the text, double click on any text, and then you say uh, email. And I think you should change this to uh, TV, it's a abbreviation for the Android. I'll start with TV, it means uh, text view. And this one is password. Oh, I'm sorry, actually, you don't have to uh, because this ID doesn't need to work in the, um, in the code. But if you want to change, it's okay. But it's not necessary. I, I forget about this. So this one is the tag and the ET is more important because we will use it in the code. Let's say email um, ET password. So sometimes you you want to show like a placeholder in HTML. You can use it also. You go to hint and you say type email. Okay. And this one is a type password. And this one, double click on this, and change to maybe sign in. And this one, BTN, uh, maybe sign in. Okay. And press save. As you can see, it looks good. And, um, you might wondering like, oh, the email must be on the top. Yes, because it is not 
an application for desktop, the screen is very small. So you could think about the finger for users, like user experience. You might think, okay, I want to put um, the text after email. It's not the way you, you do you know, on like mobile worlds. You should put the stack stack like this. It's better. So let's try it. But if you want to show the keyboard like email and password, it should have a different keyboard. If you use Jenny Motion, you have to go to Jenny Motion, the red icon, and then you go to this. Uh, before that, I have to stop it. And then you have to check the tick use with your keyboard. Okay. And then you run again. And now you press run. So the gradle is building, so sometimes it takes very long. But um, yeah, looks good. Okay. And go to Jenny Watson, the white one. Oh, so what is it? Uninstall and yes, okay. So maybe one more time, because this not, uh, maybe it's, oh, it's, it's fine now. Okay, type it, as you can see, you have the add sign and a dot for the email, and you can type it, and by pressing like this, or maybe just type from the keyboard, okay. Like those all email. It's not my real Gmail. Password. Okay, you can see the add and uh, the add sign uh, like disappear because you change. And if you choose in here, you can choose another widget. For example, like you want to change to um, let's say password but numeric. So you can drag and drop, but for now, you already chosen. Uh, you choose it already, and then you want to change to uh, password, but numeric. You can do it in a property. I think it's somewhere. Yes, in here, input text. And you can choose, uh, let me drag it, password and web password, number password, so untick it and then you go to number password run it again okay okay, now the keyboard change so that's it, this is the, the linear layout and if you want uh, change to horizontal, you can do that by choose the horizontal. For example, like you want to put a button uh, beside, like okay, exit. So if you drag this and then you want to press in here, you cannot because um, this one will uh, just like um, vertical, so it's go down. So you have to. Uh, drag a linear layout and pass it somewhere around here and then you drag uh, the button go up and drag button to the linear layout now you can see that the, it go beside to each other and you say okay exit and this one exit and you want this to, to be in the middle you go to gravity you drag you click on linear layout not the button and take the center horizontal okay so that's it for the horizontal i hope you like this video so if you like my video please subscribe and then um, follow me on twitter get more source code on github so for now i will say bye bye See you in the next video.